y'all join in with us this morning. We're going to sing a little simple song. Grace, oh Lord.
Come on, let's praise the Lord today. I know that it's great. He alone has kept us, and not we ourselves. Right. We praise Him today and thank Him and love Him. Thank God for the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. I love the Lord today. He heard my cry and pitied every groan. Long as I live in trouble, rise, I hasten to His throne. We praise the Lord. We thank God today. He's been so good to us. And we love him today for the beacon right quick. We thank God for his love. And God has been so good to me. He has been better to me than I've been to myself. Now I'm not gonna preach very long today, but I'm gonna thank God for his love. Because he looked beyond my faults and saw my needs. And I bless him. I need y'all to help me today and I'll be through. Is that all right? Yes, Grab your Bible and let's go to Revelation, the 12th chapter. There's a word from God to help all of us today. If you don't have your Bible, ask somebody, let's borrow it. There's a, amen, let's share God's word. It's rich for our souls. And we love the Lord today, Revelation, the 12th chapter. That's what I'm going to deal with today. That's what the Lord gave me to talk to you about. Amen. We, we're in a time now we need to know what's real and what's not. Is that all right? Amen. When you have it, let's say amen. amen. You need time to say, wait on me, Pastor. Because I do not want to leave anybody out of this very powerful word of God. Amen. God has been so good to us. And we love him today. Amen. Amen. I'm going to read a little bit, and then we're going to go into the Word as he had desired us to do. We won't be here very long. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And he, his tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Yes. Amen. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. I'll stop right there and we're going to talk a little bit but I do want to pray, and my subject today is God is fighting for his church. God is protecting his church. You're not going to let his church go unprotected. You all right? And if you're in the church, you're going to be protected. Is that all right? Kind Father, in the name of Jesus, we love you today. We thank you for your word. Thank you for a privilege to talk about you. Thank you for a privilege to just give your word. And let your word get in us. I ask that you speak to me and speak through me. Cause somebody's life to be changed and healed and delivered and set free. 
Cause somebody will be added to the church and be saved and give you their life. Knowing that you're in control of the church. Amen. And as long as we're in you, we're going to be all right. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So Lord, bless your, bless your anointing. Take charge of this service. Amen. And prove yourself in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And let everyone that agree say amen. amen. While you resting in your seats. I know a lot of people don't like to talk about the book of Revelation. And sometimes it may be difficult to understand. But God will give you the understanding. He said John to the hour of Patmos to talk to him and show him visions. And here's one that the story is told how there was a wonder in him. And notice that uh, there is a woman there that's getting ready to have a child. Now notice what the Bible says about heaven. It says this, that there was a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun. And that means the sun of righteousness. Amen. And the moon was under her feet, which means authority over earth. Now that's not on earth, that was in heaven that God gave this woman the charge. Are y'all all right? Yeah. Don't get bored. I got more for you. <laughs> and upon her head was seven, a crown of seven stars, 12 stars, which means this was the apostles of God. She was given authority. Now, some people would like to look at her just as a female. But it changes that dynamic where well, Jesus will be married to a bride, but he's coming back for the church. Amen. So this woman is a significance of the church Amen. under the apostolic doctrine. Are y'all all right? Amen. These stars are apostolic. Amen. The apostles who preached us out of sin. Yes. And God had them and made them disciples, and they later became apostles. Amen. Paul joined the crowd. Okay? And she was with child and travailing in birth. But there appeared another wonder. In heaven, it says a great red dragon. Y'all know who that is. Don't seven heads and ten horns. Seven crowns on his head denoting what is going out of the Roman Empire. Amen. When you go to Rome, you see all the leaders. A lot of folks think America is a blessed place. When he talks about the church, it's talking about in Jerusalem. All right. The line of Judah is in Jerusalem. Yeah. The Bible is based on Jerusalem. Amen. You see this wall going on? Don't play lightly because you're in America. What's going on in Israel is in the Bible. Amen. Two brothers fighting over there. Amen. Ishmael and Isaac. Been fighting for years. We'll never be friends. Y'all gonna help me? One was born of a slave, the other was born of Sarah. And because of Sarah mishandling of God's promise, she allowed the devil to give her decision to make labor hands. I wish I could preach today. Go ahead. Go ahead. And not only did, but the Bible said his tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven. The angels of God were stars in heaven. But he got up there trying to turn against God. He was accusers of the brethren. Lying both on the brethren, the people of God, day and night. Many of the prophets were going to be murdered because of Satan. You know, folk are killed when they don't understand. They get jealous of what they don't understand. Yeah. Satan just wanted to take over heaven, but God did not want him to take over heaven. Yeah. But he thought if I could just get these little crowds over here to follow me, I could take God's job. Yeah. I could take over heaven, but God wasn't going to let him. Y'all go help me? Yeah. God wasn't going to let Satan destroy what he so greatly put it together for our good yeah. and for his pleasure. He came that we might have what life and that we may have it more abundant. And listen at this. Not only that, but he threw them to earth 
He sent demons to earth. There are over 100,000 of demons. A third of the angels of heaven are down here on earth. Amen. You wonder why folk breaking in your house, Amen. stealing your car, yes. killing loved ones, yes. killing the folk you love, yes. robbing banks, yes. carjacks, yes. lying, yes. gambling, fussing, arguing, fighting. Yes. Those demons are from heaven. And they're no longer angels, but they're demons on earth. Amen. Satan sent them to earth to cause havoc to us who love God. Amen. Are y'all all right? Amen. Well, my son got killed and he was on drugs, but your son ain't trying to be saved. Right. But who are the grace of those of us who love the Lord? Because when we see your children, it breaks our heart that Satan has got another soul Amen. that he should have never had. Amen. Are y'all all right today? And the Bible says this. Listen. He stood in front of the woman that was ready to deliver, to devour her, her child as soon as he was born. Satan wanted to kill Jesus. That's what Satan wanted to do. I'm talking about baby Jesus. Laying in a manger. Well, y'all know it's true because later on in history, Herod tried to kill him himself. Are y'all all right? The story comes together that what happened in heaven was going to take place on earth later. So John is now writing what happened in heaven and Herod tried to kill Jesus on earth. Amen. Well, let's see if that's true. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. Amen. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Well, while he was on earth, God told uh, Joseph, you go take that child to Egypt. Amen. Hiding from the devil. Yes. Y'all remember that? Yes. Anybody know the, the, the Christmas story before you open your Christmas gift? Yes. 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 Joseph was told by an angel in a dream, go take the child of Egypt and stay there yes. till King Herod died. Yes. Don't you know if you live right, God got a place for you? Yes. Don't sit around and worry about what the enemy gonna do. Yes. Know that God got you covered if you're right. God would always protect his investment. Amen. God going to take care of his church. Y'all hear me? Amen. Look at somebody tell me he's going to take care of the church. Amen. The Bible said the woman fled to the wilderness. And where she had a place, listen at this, prepared of God. Before she got to the wilderness, she didn't go on a flimsy. Yes. I wish y'all could get this lesson. I was stirred up a week ago. God prepared a place for the mother before she even got there. If you live right, God will prepare a place for you. While the enemy don't know what you gonna do, God got you covered. Look at your neighbor and God got you. Yes. So the woman fled to the place prepared of God that she should feed there a thousand two hundred and three score days. And there was a war in heaven. You see, God didn't want her to get hurt. Amen. So before he had a war, he moved them out of the way. I hear a lot of folks say, well, when Jesus come, we're going to be fighting. Say, no. God gonna hide the saints for a thousand years. Those that love the Lord and got the Holy Ghost, He gonna hide you, so you won't be in the midst of trouble. And I can't understand why somebody sit around the church and don't want the Holy Ghost, because that's your only protection when the Lord come back. That's your seal on the day of redemption. Not that you play church, but that you have the power of the Holy Ghost. So now here's God getting ready to fight Satan. He calls Michael the war angel. Come here, Michael. Get you some angels. Satan had his little gang 
gang members. Yeah, we 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 gonna fight and us gonna win. He thought. But I don't know a demon on earth or anywhere else can outdo the power of God. Sit around looking scared all you want. Can't no power on earth outdo God. Magic power, black power, Jewel power will never outdo God. Satan tried to fight. He ain't fight God. Amen. He just fought the angels. Amen. And still lost. Amen. He was never back in heaven after that fight. Amen. Got mad, took his crew on down the earth. Let's call it heaven. Uh -huh. On earth, because I ain't done nothing in heaven you ain't wanted there. Right. I want you to know Satan will never go to heaven. Amen. God got his hands on to the day of judgment. He's the God of this earth. This world that we live in. He ain't ruling nothing up there. That's why he clowns so much on earth. Like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Who he may discourage. Jesus said the thief coming not but for the steal. To kill and to destroy. But I'm coming. That you might have life. Satan knows that scripture too. Amen. He'll quote it back to you. Amen. I'm only that. But the great dragon was cast out. That old servant called the devil, Satan, which deceived the whole world. Amen. Y'all know he's still doing that? Amen. It didn't say he just deceiving some folk. He deceiveth the whole world. Include the saints if you ain't careful. You used to look sanctified, now you're looking sanctified. You used to look holy, now you look goatly. Instead of having a holy ghost, you got the goatly ghost. You used to be humble, but now you got a spirit on you. I don't know where it come from, but say You used to love God, be on time for church. Do it just hold up. Now you come when you get ready. Amen. You've been deceived by Satan. Amen. And he ain't gonna quit. His job is to make sure you don't make it to the kingdom. Amen. You ought to run for your life. Amen. Don't play with your feelings. You need to run by faith. Yes. Ain't nobody else. Don't worry about ain't nobody else. Ain't nobody else ain't gonna make it, but you better make it. Are y'all in right with me today? Don't, don't, don't get mad with me. Please don't get mad. And if you do, I don't care. All right, Pastor. I heard a voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of God and the power of Christ for the accuser of our brother is cast down which accused him before our God day and night. The devil's always accusing. False of you. You got to watch yourself. Don't join in that crowd when the devil start acting like that. But she must have stole my purse. You better watch that. Your purse in your trunk of your car. Who stole my glass? They right on your face. Be careful. Be careful that you don't start false accusing. That's the devil's job. That's the devil's job. He's a deceiver. He does it day and night. Some folk have accused folk of stuff and they die believing the same stuff. Then investigate nothing. Folk will tell you a lie and you believe it. You're joining that lie and think it's the truth. Folk have died because folk lied on them. Satan is a deceiver and a liar. Lord, I wish I could preach. But they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimonies. Listen to this, listen to this. That they love not their lives unto death. A lot of us ain't ready to do that. Love not your life unto the ready to die for Jesus. Amen. I can hear y'all now. I just bought a new microwave. <laughs> I just got a new car. Jesus told one man, 
You know, Lord, I ain't done nothing. I, I mean, I keep your command. I don't lie. I don't steal. He said, go sell all you have. Give it to the poor. Poor little man didn't have sense enough to know if God told you to sell all you have, there's another big blessing. Do you know what the word say? Give. Do y'all know that? If he had just obeyed God, he'd probably been wealthier than he ever been. You looking at what's in your bank account. I'm looking at what's in God. My coffers are full and my riches are untold. I'm a child of the king. Y'all know that song? Amen. When you're a child of the king, you don't worry about what you got in your bank account. Amen. I ain't giving the church all my money. You ain't never gave the church all your money. And you never will. Amen. You ain't got enough anyway. Amen. The money God trusts with you, it ain't even your money. Amen. You think it's God's money. Amen. Amen. Now listen at this. I'm going to skip a little bit. Because now Satan got so angry. Look at verse 13. And when the devil or the dragon saw that he was cast out onto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the child. Y'all got that? Y'all know what that means? Can I tell you? Satan was mad that he couldn't destroy Jesus. Now he's fighting us. He's after the church. He don't care nothing about you coming. Just don't be saved. My mama used to tell me about the tree that the Lord had there. And every fowl of the air came and laid on that tree. When it comes to Christianity, everybody wants to be a Christian. A cursing Christian, a lying Christian, a drunk Christian. A whole mama Christian. If you want to be a Christian, be a right Christian. A righteous. Only the pure in heart. Only. Only the pure in heart. You was in a nightclub before you got saved, and you still in a nightclub after you got saved. You was a drunk before you got saved, and you still drunk now. You was a liar before you got saved, and you still a liar now. You was a hope. I wish y'all could help me. Y'all got that. Y'all scared. I'm not scared today. Whatever you was before you got saved, you ought to be different. Your lifestyle ought to be different. Your mindset ought to be different. Amen. Preach, Pastor. Preach it. Lord, help me, Jesus. I didn't think it was going to go well because, you know, Satan don't like me talking about this. Trying to attack the church. Amen. Amen. And not only that, but the woman was given two wings by God to fly and to a designated place in the wilderness. I could, can I do that? Do y'all know if a city has a library, it's not complete. If a city don't have a church, it ain't complete. The church should not look like a ballroom, a bowling alley, a disco joint. Y'all gonna help me? Is y'all gonna say something today? When you go to church, it ought to look sanctified. I don't care if it's full of drunk, the church ought to look holy. You know, look at the place of worship. Yes. You ought to feel God when you come to church. Amen. You ought to feel the power of God when you walk in. Yes. You don't do everything you want to do in church. Amen. You know, we got a casino in the back room. You know that ain't the church. Amen. Are y'all going to help me today? Amen. We're going to have a, 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 what you call that thing? Where you, a, 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 you dance and carry on? Right at the church. Just a cabaret in the fellowship hall. That ain't no church. That's a ballroom. Did y'all hear me? When it comes to church, it's different from ministry. You can have a ministry of clothes, ministry of food, ministry of doing hair, ministry of helping folks find a house. 
But when it comes to church, that's for the saving of souls. For the saving of souls. That's the purpose of the church. So now the church was in place. Satan got mad. But God nourished the woman. He took care. That's why we still stand. That's why we still have a church. Because God is nourishing the church. Amen. Why are you here today? Who made you come to church? God has a place to nourish us. A place for encouragement. Who's doing it? Pastor God. No, it's God. Who's healing it? Pastor God. No, it's God. Who's opening doors for you? God is. Who's making ways for you? God is. Who's making the enemy behave? God is. Working through the church. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Pastor, where I used to go. That's what they used to say when I was a little boy. Amen. What I used to do, I don't do no more. Amen. Don't you know that's still the testimony Amen. of the church? Amen. The church will last forever. Amen. His truth will do to all generations. Because God's going to keep nourishing the church. Amen. Well, I ain't giving another dime to the church. It don't matter about your little dime. You may not be around long enough to give another dime. Amen. But God got people already in place. Amen. Well, one won't do, God got enough. Amen. If you don't cry, God got rocks Amen. that will cry out in your place. Sit there and don't say nothing. There's a rock with your name on it. Lord, if they don't say hallelujah, I'll do it. If they don't say thank you, I will. Amen. Folk on death row. See, if I could just get out of death row, I'd be in church. Folk dying in the hospital for disease. See, if I could just get one more chance to get in church, I will. You at home with your TV down. Your leg crossed. All right. well, I don't feel like going to church. It ain't about you. Amen. God gonna protect this church. Amen. None but the righteous. That's what it's gonna be. Amen. None but the righteous. That's what it's gonna be. Amen. None but the righteous shall she go. I ain't going to church no more. God ain't going. He'll let you sit at home. For the rest of your life. And church will yet go on. Did you hear me? I'm mad at the preacher. Therefore, church will yet go on. My mama died. I ain't going back in that place. Church will yet go on. They ain't gave me nothing for my birthday, church. Y'all ain't gonna hear me preach it. Thank you, Lord. So Satan got mad. And he opened his mouth. And poured out a whole lot of water. He poured out water to drown out. The church. That's what he did. Satan trying to drown out the church now. All these people got rights to drown out what is right. Folk used to be saved, cursed. How you? What happened to you? You used to be glad to be a church. Why you ain't happy no more? You come in with a siren back, nobody knows. The trouble. We so sick of you. Right. You should be saying, glad I am, Lord. Glad I am, Lord. You don't know how. How glad I am. Glad you saved me. Walk in here like you somebody that drove the dead cat in. You ought to be marching by faith. And not by sight. If nobody else come, you come. If nobody else encourage, you be encouraged. If everybody give up, don't you give up. 
and just assume that Satan called himself going to drown out the church. The Bible said earth. Listen to this. It, I ain't talking about Mother Earth. Because y'all can kill me. You know Mother Earth. The earth is the law. Y'all gonna help me? And the food is there. So who made the earth open up? It wasn't earth herself. You know Mother Earth got so many here. God got the healing. Whatever you're going to be healed from, God put it on earth for your healing. Yes. So the earth opened her mouth yes. and swallowed up all the water that was intended to drown out the church, Amen. to drown out Christianity. Yes. Listen, you better hold to God's unchanging hands. Yes. Don't you ever think yes. Satan is through trying to drown you out. He come to steal. He come to kill. He come to destroy. You make your own children turn against you. Now, Mama, you go to church too much. Well, baby, I have to go all these demons in my house. Well, Mama, I woke up and I had blessed all of my food. I know it might be a little hot in the house. Husband cheap. Well, why are my toes and feet all wet with blessed off? Yeah, baby, I understand. That's what make you stop running there and sit down somewhere. You got a wife at the house. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Your husband started cheating, you better pray while he's sleep. Your wife won't cook, you better know her while she's sleep. Baby, I woke up and I had oil all in my hair. I understand, baby. <laughs> but you sure cooked a beautiful dinner today. <laughs> Do not underestimate Satan. Amen. His job is not over. Amen. The Bible says since he couldn't mess with the woman, he's going after the remnant. Amen. He's going after us now. Have y'all seen the devices of Satan in your life? Okay. Aggravation. Amen. Being lied on. Amen. Being false accused. Yes. Being hated. Amen. I'm jealous of you. You understand these devices? Amen. But no weapon. Y'all gonna help me. I believe I got the wrong crowd. I should have went in the backyard and preached. No weapon. Did y'all hear me? Your own family. Your own friends. Y'all hear me? But no weapon. That is formed again. It's your prophet. And every time. The rise of the shall Thou shall continue. Yes. Lord said, he gonna, you going to be the one that, how? By living right. Yes. None but the righteous. Yes. God going to watch But Pastor, I just want to ask one little question before you stop me. This one, okay, this one. <laughs> what is it? Well, Jesus said he's going to take away from the, the wicked and give to the righteous. And if you don't take the mark of the beast. So how that going to work? There are folks here right now looking at you. Somebody may want to give you their house. Amen. That may be somebody want to give you all the money they got in the bank. Right. See, because we, we hold on to stuff that you think we're going to take it with us. Every dime that you leave, somebody is going to take care of. And they, you saved it for a lifetime, they'll use it in a few minutes. Your car will be driving around town. You watch every bump in the road, they run over every bump. <laughs> the clothes you thought was nice would be in the yard sale. Right. Along with your chandeliers and your beautiful mirrors and everything else. Your couch that you felt so comfortable on. Whoa! When I lay on that couch, I can't, oh, I just think I'm in heaven. <laughs> It'll be on a dump. Yeah. Yeah. Heaven and earth. Oh, wait. Yes. But you need to build your hope. Woo. On things. Eternity. And hope. 
Because God, He's always been there for you. I gotta quit. He has never left. Amen. Some of y'all been real sick. Amen. God brought you through that. Amen. Some of y'all didn't have no money. Amen. He made a way for you. Some of y'all prayed for a job. Amen. God gave it to you unexpectedly. Amen. Paid off your bills. Help protect your life. Amen. That deserves the praise of God. Amen. Do not let Satan have his way in your life. Tell God thank you. Satan don't want us to tell him thank you. Amen. That bothers him. Yeah. When you start praising God. Yeah. Why you why you why you gotta keep all, all that noise praising God? You act like you crazy. I'm crazy for you. And I would always be crazy for you. Can't nobody hear you. But you can't nobody protect you. Well, you know, I got a gun. I got a, I got that little alarm system. And my little mace spray, I got that. When the devil came to you, may not be able to get nothing. But God is on the scene all the time. God gonna protect his interests. If you belong to God, you might as well know God ain't gonna let no enemy on this earth bother you. You may forget your phone, yes. but God got you covered. Amen. You have angels Amen. that are in your car, Amen. angels that are in your house. Yes. When death try to take you in your sleep, angels are there. Amen. Don't you die today. This is not your day to die. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Angels on the job you're trying to look for, we ain't hiring nobody else. Nobody. Nobody. Yes. But I thought, no. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean no harm. What's your name? <laughs> to I don't. We ain't hiring nobody, but you come on in. Sit down. Don't tell me God won't fix it. Let Jesus fix it for you. He knows just what to do. And whenever, y'all help me, whenever you pray, let have his way and you stay out the way. Are y'all all right? Do you love the Lord? Do you love the Lord? Praise God. Come on, let's open the doors of the church. God is a good God. He's going to fight for you. 